welcome back. This is Dennis Jones with GamerFusion.com bringing guys more news. It's been a while since I did a video like this, but I have heard something that I need to tell you guys. It's very important, very, very important, especially in the realm of Pokemon. But, uh, yeah. I, I, I said my name already. The YouTube channel name is Den Mega Dennis Menace, and I hope you guys enjoy these videos. If you give a like, then share it around, that would be great. But onward to the news. This is very important news for those who like Pokemon. There has been a new distribution announcement for the Pokemon Hoopa. Now, Hoopa has been distributed to other countries like Japan and and uh, I think Europe got their hands on Hoopa, and now the United States is getting their Hoopa. Now, here's my issue. No, it's not an issue. This is very, it's very strange because the Hoopa is being distributed via McDonald's. So you go to your local McDonald's and you connect to their Wi-Fi using your 3DS and with one of the game, one or all of these games, if you have them all, uh, Pokemon X or Y or Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. So those connect and they are using their Nintendo Zone application to distribute this Pokemon. Which, now the, I said US because the official website says North America release of Hoopa. However, if it says it's using a Nintendo Zones, the issue I have is that uh, in Canada, Nintendo Zones are not at McDonald's. They're at Best Buy or some airports, and that's it. So I'm wondering if this really is for North America or if it's just for the United States. In which case, then uh, Nintendo's official site should really change their phrasing that it's really leased in North America to just the United States. Because last time I checked, North America included Canada and the US. And I personally live in Canada, so I will, I, it's possible that, that uh, we will be able to get them by going to a McDonald's and connecting to their Wi-Fi in Canada. I do not know for sure if it's US only. I won't know until the actual day of the event when I try to do this. And that's going to be on November 27th. This event happens on November 27th onwards to December 30... December 23rd. There's no 32. <laughs> ah, I was dyslexic. Fix the words in my... the letters and the letters the numbers in my head. The numbers! All right. So, yeah, November 27th onward to December 23rd, you guys can get yourself a Hoopa at McDonald's, and it's I think it's in conjunction with some type of Happy Meal toys that they are bringing out, too, so that's why this is a thing. Um, I really hope it's for both Canada and U.S., but if it's not, and I, I, I'll probably be a little bit upset if I go to McDonald's and I am not able to get a Hoopa. But I also will not be surprised at the same time. <laughs> because, because I did a little bit of research about the Nintendo Zones and found out that uh, we don't have them here in Canada unless they are going to set them up for this event and this event only. Otherwise, then it, it, I guess it looks like it's just going to be a United States event, which uh, Good kudos for you guys, and uh, if it does turn out that this event is only for the United States, if any of you guys watching this video are from the States, uh, grab an, a, an extra one and send it to me so I can make clones of it and send a bunch out to my friends and subscribers and such. But uh, we'll leave it that, we'll let that, I'll talk about that in the end of video into which I will make, we'll be confirming that it's only United States for this event. So, uh, that's a long-winded way of saying, hey, Hoopa's coming to the United States. <laughs> so, that's cool. Uh, next thing, um, now, The Legend of Zelda producer, E.G. Anuma, I hope I'm saying that name right, I do not know Japanese that well. He has once again reassured Wii U owners that the next Legend of Zelda game is going to be, in fact, coming out for the Nintendo Wii U. Now, there has been various bloggers and other such folks uh, saying and speculating that uh, maybe the Wii U, the, the Zelda Wii for the Nintendo Wii U will not be coming out 
and will be just pushed back to the N Nintendo NX, or we'll be doing what the uh, Zelda Twilight Princess did, which was released on both consoles. Uh, as in, they'll be releasing for the Nintendo Wii U and the Nintendo NX, which might, it might happen, but uh, who knows. Uh, but the producer did confirm, for sure, we will be seeing a Wii U edition of Legend of Zelda. Uh, and no, no any, no dates of, any, of any kind were announced, but that, that's basically that's basically it. He does say in a quote that they have these two groups are separated for consoles and for handheld and it seems like the Zelda Wii U game was not delayed because of Triforce Heroes working on it. They do sometimes have their people from either team swap, swap spots and change positions but other than that, no, it's Definitely confirmed that Zelda for for the Wii U is coming out for the Wii U. Who would have thought? <laughs> well, um, it, it's just because the, the that title has been delayed, and people are wondering must be wondering why it's been delayed. I suppose, but we know it's coming, and I'm okay with that. So it, it went. I would rather them release it when they feel it's ready to be released to the public, and not pushed out too soon. Alright, next little story. In Japan, Pokémon Tournament, uh, it, it, it's an arcade game that where you fight Pokémon, basically. Like a Tekken kind of, if you've ever played the fighting game Tekken. They have m made, a, it's, it's Pokémon fighting each other in that same style of, as Tekken. And that's what, hence the name Pokémon Fighters. That was a brief explanation. Now, there, it's... There has been one branch of arcades that are actually could strongly considering and maybe already have are going to remove that game from their arcades only because it's not making enough money for them. They uh, don't have <laughs> it's yeah. It, let me just read here. It reads the tweet details of the game isn't producing enough income to net out the expenses and the removal will come early in November. Which, actually, I'm recording this on the 10th, 11th of November, so I guess it's already happened. But there is some, this is new stories, a little old. But uh, I'm, a thing that, interestingly, that happens, has happened in Pokémon Fighters is they have an, released a trailer for uh, revealing the Shadow Mewtwo form in their game, in that game, in that particular game. So that's interesting. I'm not sure if that's for the Wii U release that's going to, that might be coming out in the United States. I'm not sure if anything's been confirmed on that or not. I need to do a little bit more research on that, but anyhow, the, I'll put a shot. The character of that Mewtwo form looks really crazy, I, but I'm pretty sure it's only going to stay in this game in Pokémon Fighters, and that's, that's it. But sadly, it seems that's not it's not that Pokémon Fighters is not getting that much reception in Japan, which is kind of saddening. But hopefully, it'll be do good over on this side of the of the of the hemisphere, I guess, of the of the globe. This side of the globe. That's probably the better word for that. Hopefully, this this event doesn't deter them from localizing it to North America, to, to for a console release. In general, okay, so. Here's the next story. <laughs> the Super Mario Maker game for the Wii console launched on this in the U.S. on September 11th, almost two months ago, uh, and sold nearly 445,000 cop combined units, rather, in its first three weeks. Wow! <laughs> so bringing the lifetime total to more than 500,000 units combined in the U.S. alone. Uh, perhaps the biggest impact, though, is the hardware sales. The biggest impact, though, being on hardware sales for the full month, sales on the Wii U hardware in the United States increased by nearly 110% over sales in August. So, all because of a new release of a game, which, of course, everyone knows, hardware 
is sold by the software that's created for it. Uh, <laughs> honestly. And there will be more new game releases coming out later on in, the, in this month with uh, Ami Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival uh, coming out. Actually, it looks like it's coming out today uh, when I'm recording this. I think I'll be posting this video tomorrow. So uh, so that, that will be out. Mario Tennis Ultra Smash for the Wii U coming out November 20th. Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon for the Nintendo 3DS is coming out November 20th. And Xenoblade Chronicles X, that's the one I'm excited for because I love JRPGs. It's coming up December 4th. I, don't, I think, I, I hope this one sells a lot of copies too, and a lot of units. Um, and Devil's Third, which is coming out December 11th for the Wii U. Um, so those, those are the games. Uh, those are the things. <laughs> So guys, that's, those have been a couple of the news stories that I've that have caught my attention these this last little while. I think it's been almost a month since the last time I've uploaded a news type video. And after seeing the Hoopa story, I knew I needed to get something out. Because uh, I just really hope that it is for both US and Canada. But it seems like it's coming out for just the US to me. But give it a shot, try it out, see if you live in Canada, go see if your lo McDonald's location is hen sending out a hoopa. And let me know. And I will do the same. I will find out myself. And anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you in when I make another one of these. Bye for now.